On this video, I will explain to you the, the different transitions between the, the three phases of matter that I explained before. So, the first transition is between solids and liquids. So, when a solid goes to the liquid state, this process is called melting. Or fusion. So, like the case of an ice cube melting into liquid water, it is melt. It, it is going through the process of fusion. However, however, the 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 opposite of of melting, when something goes from the liquid to the solid state, is called freezing. So, like, again, the opposite of, of what is melting, you, instead of the ice cube going to, to the liquid phase of water, the, it, will, it will be going from, from the liquid water to the ice cube. So you would put it in the fridge and you would see that it transforms into a solid. And that is, as the name says, freezing. The, the following two processes would be between liquids and gases so when a liquid transforms into a gas it is going through the process of vaporization as the name says it it's like water vaporizing into water vapor or for example when, when we sweat after doing exercise the it's it is going into the gaseous phase now, the opposite of vaporization would be when a gas goes to a liquid state. And the name of this process is condensation. An example you could probably see every day is when you have a cup of cold water or a glass of cold of cold water, you can see that outside of the of the glass where you hold it, there's a kind of moisture forming it there because of how of how cold it is. That is the gas molecules going into the liquid state. Therefore, when you touch it, it, it is wet. That is a very thin example of condensation. Now, the two remaining changes of 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 matter would be when a solid goes goes directly to the gaseous phase, avoiding the, the liquid state of matter. That process is called sublimation. It is not a process you, you, you see every day, but if you've seen, if you've seen dry ice, it is what directly happens. The, the solid ice totally avoids the, the liquid phase and just starts vaporizing into, into gas. And well, the opposite of sublimation would be when a gas goes to the solid state. And this process is called deposition. The position is not widely seen, it's not a very familiar term, but an example of it would be when, when the iodine molecules, the, the gas particles, go directly to the solid state. So it goes from being a gas di directly to, to being a, 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 a solid object. That is how iodine re reacts or works. A good, a good diagram I found can, can hold all, all, all of the matter, all of the of the transition so you can picture it easier so this is a diagram you can see a solid sublimates into a gas a gas goes through deposition into a solid the solid melts into liquid the liquid vaporizes into gas the gas liquefies into liquid 
and liquefaction is the, is the same name for 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 condensation so this is equal to condensation and well the last one would be when a liquid goes to a solid it solidifies or you can just call it freezing as I did before it is the same thing and well that's it for for the matter transitions they they're pretty easy just memorize the names and you'll be set